Hey YouTube and welcome to the video. Today we're going to be talking about storage spaces on Windows 8.1. And the topic of interest is how to safely replace and upgrade a disk. Now in my particular P, uh, home PC um, I set up storage spaces quite a few months ago uh, as an experiment on basically flexible uh, and redundant storage. So what I've got set up in there is we've got two uh, four terabyte drives and two three terabyte drives. And just to really sort of mix it up a bit, I chucked in a small 500 gig and that's what we're going to be upgrading today. So if we swing over to the machine and actually have a look to see what's going on. When you go into storage spaces, there is no option to upgrade a disk, which in my mind is absolutely ridiculous. Because this is what people do, it is expandable storage. Mm -mm. So, here we have. Now then, so three of the volumes are protected. If all of the volumes are protected, I could just take the disk out and put another one in and it'll all rebuild and everybody's happy. But, because I have what I call trashy data, so this is data that I can download again, I don't really care about, so this is mainly sort of ISO files, uh, application installs, things like that. Things I can get again, I'm not really bothered about. Um, I set on a no resiliency here, so we've got a simple space there. Um, I also have a parity drive, so this is basically needs a minimum of three disks, uh, and I use that for all of my media, so it protects the data in case of failure, but is low on the amount of space it takes to actually recover if I did lose one of the disks. I also have a protected space which is just a standard two-way mirror so this is exactly what it says on the tin. It is a mirror of whatever you've got. So if you copy 200 gigs of data then you use 400 gigs of your pool. Uh, and I have ultra protection so this is for the real paranoid stuff so this is irreplaceable data in fact, it's so irreplaceable, I would cry if I lost it. And I mean properly cry. So this is home pictures, home movies, um, things that are very, very personal to me. So I have that on a three-way mirror. So I can actually take two simultaneous, simultaneous disk failures and still hold that data intact. That's how paranoid I am. And on top of that, I have a USB backup. And on top of that, I have it backed up to the cloud because we're talking 15 years of photographs which I cannot replace so that is the reason why I do that. So going back to the no resiliency if I pulled the disk right now to upgrade it all that data gone corrupted. So what we do is under the physical disks so we've got is showing us here what we've got. So we've got three, a three, a four, and a four, and 500. So the 500 is what we're actually going to be upgrading. Now, because the motherboard that I've got on this particular machine has six SATA ports, so one is used for the OS, and the five are used here, there's no way of upgrading the disks. You can't take it out because you lose your data, so what do you do? Well, the one of the excellent features of storage spaces is to be able to add a USB drive. So this is what we've done. So I've got hold of a USB enclosure. I then plug that in through USB 3 into the back of the machine. And basically effectively what we're doing is we, we're temporarily adding this disk here to the machine. We are then transferring and making sure it's all resilient and it's all protected, everything's happy onto that disk and then once that's done we will then remove the 500 shut it all down and then actually take that disk out and put it onto the SATA ports and then the server doesn't know any different so that's the objective so <coughs> as we can see here look low capacity add one drive um, duh, 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 duh. so it's actually getting a bit full because obviously it's only a 500 so what we will do uh, is first of all just prove that the um, USB drive is visible. So we just bring up a uh, disk manager. So here we can see all the disks. So there's the simple spaces. 
Okay, and that's the USB drive there, which is 2.7 terabytes in size. So this is the disk we're going to be using. So the first thing we need to do is load up PowerShell in administrative mode, because if you do it in normal mode, then you'll get an access denied. So find PowerShell, right click on it, and then say run as administrator, and then agree to that. And it'll show you there that it's an administrator mode. So what we need to do is we can use a command called get hyphen physical disk. And that can actually show us um, in PowerShell mode exactly what disks we have. So as we can see here, we've got the 3, the 3, the 4, and the 4. Um, physical disk 0, that's my SSD. And physical 6s and 7s are the USB. So we want the 500. So and what we're actually going to do is we're going to retire this disk. So this basically stops the system from writing any further data to it. And we do that through using this command here. So we set hyphen physical disk hyphen friend oh, type it properly friendly name quotes uh, 500 GB um, and then usage sorry hyphen usage retired okay so that seems to have worked so <coughs> what we need to do is we can actually use a command uh, called get physical disk um, hyphen friendly name 500 GB uh, and then we can do pipe that to get virtual disk and what this does is this shows us what volumes are actually sitting on the disk that we need to remove. So as we can see here, we've got the mirror, we've got the two mirrors, and we've got the parity. So if we purely had a resilient system, we could just basically remove that disk and then, uh, and then put in a new disk and it will rebuild and repair quite happily. But because we have this simple volume here, if I took the disk out right now, all that data is gone and corrupted vanish because that simple volume is split over the five disks so if you think about um, how the data is laid out is each individual slab is held over the five disks so if you take one disk out you've just corrupted all the data so there's no resi uh, no resiliency uh, and that actually shows you there no resiliency so hit change settings But before we do that, what we need to do, there we go, it's showing there, look, information retired, add a drive, and then remove this drive. So it's actually allowing us to remove it. But bearing in mind, we don't have enough storage because we haven't added the USB drive yet. So what we do is go to add drives. It's showing us the USB there, 2.72, which is correct. And then we say add drive. And there we have it and it is now repairing so basically what it's doing now is it's taking all our data and it's moving on to the new three terabyte disk itself so this can take anything from an hour to 12 hours depends upon how fast your system is and depends on how much data you've got so hopefully when all that comes back up you should just be able to remove the drive um, from the SATA port, you take the USB drive out and put it in replacement for the 500 and that's it done. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, thanks for watching and uh, until next time.